Hey guys, welcome back to Terraria, where in today's episode, we've got more bossing planned. I have looked at upgrading armor, but as far as I can tell, it's not really worth it till we get to Skeletron, who is not for a couple of bosses, so let's get pushing towards that, with the first one being a new boss, Queen Jellyfish, who is, I think, quite easy to spawn. Yeah, seashells, starfish, and some coral, all of which can easily be found at the seaside. And even though we've already opened this one up... Also, something I did forget, that reminds me. Hang on. Look. That doesn't look like anything special, but that's actually the underground pyramid, I guess, that you find in the desert. And I, I completely forgot to mention it. In fact, the first time I ran past that, I didn't even realise. But yeah, that's actually really good, which we, we will need to go there at some point, because I think we can have some pretty good loot in. So yeah, even though we've already been here, we might as well go and explore this side of the map. So, what I'll do first, actually... Hang on a minute. Someone stole my door. I had a door there, and now I don't. Someone's, someone has stolen my door. Yeah, I'll have to empty my... Yeah, that's, that needs cleaning out a little bit. So, I will clean this out. Then, we will go to the beach. Well, we made it to the beach. Uh, nothing really to report along the way. I mean, the dungeons are there. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing really interesting. Uh, so we've already got our starfish. We just need some coral and a seashell. There's a seashell right there. I can mine it. There we go. And the coral, I assume, will just be underground. You have to be careful of these jellyfish, though, because they might try and attack me. Actually, why don't I spawn this in? That would help quite a lot. Yes, there's some coral down there. Oh, I just ran past them. There's one. How much do I need again? Is it four? Yes, it was four. But I realized when doing my checklist, I wasn't very smart because if I was, I would have brought the altar. That way I wouldn't have had to run back here and then run back to the beach when I want to spawn it in. And I also realized that I'm a bit of an idiot and completely forgot to get the Goblin Tinkerer. So we still don't have Reforge and we still don't have the Workshop. Uh, but I guess we're just going to have to go for it. I'm not expecting the Jellyfish to be too difficult, but it would have been nice to have the Tinkerer. So actually, which which way would be quicker? I think this way would be quicker, to be honest. It's a bit more flat. So I'll, I'll, I'll just go this way. There's nothing special over there. Right then, let's just uh, press that. We go over to here. We use it, and that's a one-time use, which is a little bit annoying. But um, yeah, here's Queen Jellyfish. So it just hovers around. It spawns in the other jellyfish, those ones. I think there are three different types. But um, honestly, I'm not sure. That's really loud as well. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Um, yeah, and we just do this. And I think at an amount of HP, I'll admit, I can't remember. Actually, no, it's still on my... Oh, no. No, you idiot. I'm drowning. This is not a place you want to fight a jellyfish. Let me just back onto the, back onto the surface. Nice and easy. There we go. Yeah, there's an amount of HP. Upon reach it on oh, no, that's expert mode. Why did it, what what just happened? I wasn't paying any attention and I just I got launched. I mean it didn't do any damage at all. Oh, it hit, a bubble hit us. Right. It doesn't do too much damage, so okay. There we go, just jump over it nice and easy. Um I was going Oh yeah, that's the thing. That guy in there is what a new NPC. So once we kill this, it will drop. Oh, that's a new move. But fortunately, it doesn't it, yeah, if, if it moved towards us, it'd be a bit worrying, but it just stays there. So yeah, that's really easy to avoid. So yeah, once we uh, kill this, we'll get a new NPC. Oh, it sucks you towards it. Right. That is, that is actually quite a, a worrying move if you're a bit too close to start with. And it's dead. Oh, we got a, a mace by the looks. Whoa, 38 damage. I know it's very slow. Attacks may briefly paralyze as well. That sounds really good. Queen's glow stick. Is that just a normal glow stick? But the queen's? An endless amount of glow sticks. It could actually be useful. Did we get anything else as well? I wasn't really paying enough attention to what we picked up. That possibly? Oh, wait a second. That was one of the, um, the vanquisher things, wasn't it? One of the tasks. I didn't even realise, but yeah, Dr. Bones. Wait, Hag, isn't that another one? 
I'm sure that was another task, but I didn't kill it, did I? So that might not have counted. Which is, yeah, that's a that's a little bit annoying because that, that might not have counted because I wasn't the one that killed it. Well, that kind of wasn't meant to happen. I just summoned in Queen Bee. I mean, I was supposed to summon Queen Bee in, but I wasn't meant to do it with the mace. I was going to dig out a bigger area, but I guess we're going to have to make do. I'll be honest, the original plan was actually to take on um, the old one's army, or at least the first wave of it, but similar to Goblin Tinkerer, I haven't found the tavern keep, so couldn't spawn it in. So next best thing was uh, Queen Bee, but this also didn't really go to plan. Okay, this works. If I just stand here, I'm in the honey, so I've got the healing. Its bees can't do anything, and then when it goes to do the side swipes, I can just jump over it. Or I can try to jump over it. And Queen Bee is down. So there's the beekeeper, which is a sword I'd love to use, but it's also a vanilla sword, so I might not use it. Oh, I didn't even have time to put the sharpen station down, did I? Or change that back onto um, my accessories. So that, that could have been made a lot easier as well, if I didn't uh, mess it up a little bit. Honeycomb releases bees when damaged. Bee nades, they're really good. What do I not need? I don't think I need moon glows at the minute. Right, and that should be everything, isn't it? Bee, bee wax. I feel like bee wax does something. It's a material. A material used to make bee nades, isn't it? So that could be really good to have. A hive wall. I probably don't need it. Bottled honey. I will take. And I think that is everything from Queen Bee. So what is its loot looking like? So that could be new or it could just be rare and i've never had it before honeyed goggles summons a rideable bee mount oh that could be insane the bee's knees a bee gun places hives consumes hive places hives how does that work how do i get a hive and a honey heart healing allies with less health than you covers them in honey that could be pretty good, uh, if I had allies, which I don't, because I'm a loner. I think I've just thought of, like, a really meta way to get back, because I don't have a recall potion or a magic mirror. If I save and exit, and then go back on, I'm back. That is genius, because otherwise I'd have, to, I'd have to work my way out from there, all the way back up and then across. So that saves a million hours of walking. So go back. Is it a blood moon? It's a blood moon again, isn't it? I hate the blood moon, but I think what we'll do before we wrap it up, because that does make two bosses. One, not necessarily planned, but two bosses nevertheless. So if we go over to you, who is the new NPC, air tank. Does that give us... Your breath will be replenished if it reaches critical level. Alright, quite useful. So we've got some diver's vanity stuff. Hitch a ride on a gigantic crab. How can I refuse that? I don't think I need iron ore at the minute, so I'll just sell that. I really need to sort the inventory out again. Unholy shards. I don't even know if that's useful or not. Um, I don't need that many hives. That Oh, it's jellyfish idol. Summons a jellyfish in a bubble to follow you around. Again, that sounds pretty cool. And a fishing rod. So we could start fishing, because didn't we? Un we did unlock the angler. So maybe he's doing some fishing quests would be pretty... In fact, actually, give me a second, because I've never done a fishing quest thinking about it. So I think instead of wrapping it up, I might quickly try and do one. I say quickly, I'll probably just have to wait for Blood Moon to end, but still, I'll try and do it. Caught in sky lakes and surface. What on earth is that? Fish of Cthulhu. Okay, there's been a bit of a change of plans. I kind of thought the merchant sold bait for some reason, but they don't, as it turns out. So that kind of ruins the plan of fishing, because I can't fish without bait, can I? So what I'll do before we wrap up is A, summon this giant crab. It's not very fast, can't jump very high, but it's a giant crab. And that's the important thing. And then this, which we got from the tracker, for the hag kill, it did actually count as ours. So if we do that, we get a totem. And it's just occurred to me, I can't show you what it does. But if we click through, um, if we right click, we get different totems. That's obviously a fire one, I assume. Grass, water, no, grass, wind, possibly. 
And then water. Yeah, and you can only have one at a time. I wonder if we can go and find some enemies, actually. Another ch another change of plans. Yeah, there we go. Always an enemy in the crimson. Oh, I don't have any... Let me place it. I gotta place it down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that shoots fireballs. This one... What does this one shoot? G grass balls? What's it do? It's... It's blowing them up. I don't know what that did, but it evidently did something. That one summons whirlwinds. And then this one, last but not least. Actually, hang on, let me, let me just move it. It'll be far easier me moving it, won't it? Oh no, I can't move it. And that one, I think, I honestly think the fire one's the best out of those. But there you go, a new, a very cool item actually. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.